Hi, I'm Carrie from Many Rivers Community Acupuncture, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to do your own ear seeds. So ear seeds are exactly what they sound like. It's an actual seed on a little bit of a band-aid, and you put them on the acupuncture points in your ear. And today I'm going to talk to you about ear seeds that can be used for anxiety, depression, insomnia, and addictions. And we're going to go over four points that you can use. Now, ear seeds are available for the public to purchase. You can search for them online by looking for Vicaria ear seeds. So the protocol we're going to do today is based on the five point NADA protocol. So NADA is the National Acupuncture Detox Association protocol, and they developed five specific points to use for addictions of all kinds, whether it's smoking or alcohol or drug use. Um, they found, however, that these points were also very effective for anxiety, depression, stress, insomnia, and weight loss. So the five points on the NADA protocol are what we needle in our clinic for all of those issues. However, I found clinically that because of some of the point locations of these specific points, the ear seeds don't stick as well. So what I'm going to show you today is a modified NADA protocol that is easy for you to do to yourself at home and also gives you the best possibility for the ear seeds lasting for a long time. So first, we're gonna look at our adorable ear. And the first point is called Shen Men, and it means spirit gate. And this point is located in this upper part of the ear, which is called the triangular fossa. And you'll notice, if you're looking at the other upper part of your ear, that there's two ridges that make this triangle. So Shen Men, Spirit Gate, is located at the lateral third of the triangle. And if you want to be very, very precise, it's actually located at the upper point of this triangle. Now I have a handout, which I'm following along with today, and this is available in the comment section of the YouTube video if you'd like to download it um, and read along. So when we're putting the ear seeds in, it's very easy. You just pick it off. It's easier if you have longer fingernails, which I do not. And then we put it on that point. So I'm going to find that triangular depression in the upper part of my ear, and I'm going to move along to the outer part and put it in the outer one third. Now, this is a lot easier if you have a mirror, which I do not have, so I'm gonna check this point location later. But as you can see, just by feeling along, you can get in a close enough spot our acupuncture needles are very tiny, and these seeds are actually quite large, so you don't have to worry about precise point location. If you're in the ballpark, you'll get the right spot. The next point is the liver point. Now, um, it's important to know in Chinese medicine that the organs do more than we ascribe them to in Western medicine. So in Chinese medicine, each organ has an emotion that's associated with it, as long as a host of other duties that it does in addition to what the organ does in Western medicine. So this liver point, while it does stimulate the liver itself, it also has a number of other functions. And this is because in Chinese medicine, the liver is the organ associated with stress. So by pressing on this point, this is a fantastic stress relieving point. And so to find it, we're gonna follow the top part of our ear, which is called the helix, down into the ear where it makes this nice, easy to feel ridge. So as we follow the ridge inward, right at the end of the ridge, that's the stomach point. And if you go upwards, 
a little bit from there, that's the liver. And then directly below that is the next point we're going to do, which is the spleen. So again, I don't want you to be too concerned about point location because if you're a little bit onto the stomach, that's fine. The stomach is a fantastic point to do, especially if you're working with issues like weight loss. Um, it's also very good for boosting the immune system by increasing our absorption of vitamins and minerals. Um, so if you're a little bit off and you happen to hit the stomach, no problem. But what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way in and up to get to the liver point. So peel, feel for the ridge, and then I'm going to go, oops, and you got to make sure you don't get your hairs in there. Again, a little bit easier with a mirror, but still possible to do. So the one we're going to do next is the spleen point which may seem funny because we don't think about the spleen too much in Western medicine, but in Chinese medicine, it's actually the spleen and pancreas combined. And the reason that we do this point is for two main reasons. Number one, just like with the stomach point, um, the spleen is a fantastic point for your digestion and for boosting your immune system. But number two, in Chinese medicine, the spleen is associated with worrying. So whenever you're worrying, ruminating, overthinking, anxious, depressed, this is a great point to press. So we'll follow the helix cruise in and then go slightly downward. Okay, and the last point we're going to do is the lung. Now, the center of your bottom part of your ear is called the cavum concha. And there are actually two main points located here. So if you stick your finger directly in the center, it'll be on the heart. And all the area around that is the lung. So traditionally, the NADA protocol uses the lung. And this is because the NADA protocol is often used for addictions, such as smoking. And also because in Chinese medicine, the lungs are associated with the emotion grief. And of course, grief often underlies feelings of anxiety and depression. However, if you miss the lung point and you happen to hit the heart point, you'll still be helping yourself. Because the heart point does literally calm the heart. So it's good for racing heart, palpitations, and also calming the heart on an emotional level. It's a fantastic point for anxiety. So if you feel in the center of this big depression in the bottom of your ear, right in the center is the heart. And if you go a little upward from there, you'll be in what's called the upper lung, which is also great for respiratory disorders, allergies, and things like that. There we go. So now what do we do with these points? So I like to press them in a sequence, starting with Shenmen at the top. And you put your finger on the point lightly and breathe in deeply, one or two or even more full deep breaths. Now you don't need to press the point vigorously. Just light and gentle pressure works. Sometimes in the clinic after people have used them, um, they come back and I switch them to the other ear and I notice these huge depressions because they've been pushing so hard. This should feel very comfortable and you don't need to push the point until it's uncomfortable or until it's painful. 
In fact, that won't actually help. Just light, gentle pressure will work. So after you've pressed and breathed for Shenmen, you can do the same for the liver and the spleen and the lung or the heart. And you can do this as many times, day or night, as you want. The seeds generally stay in for about a week. Sometimes, um, depending on the anatomy of your ear and the type of skin you have, whether it's dry or oily, they might stay in longer or they might stay in for a shorter period of time. What you'll notice um, is when they're starting to fall out, they'll be a little slippery. Um, they won't really stick in place or the edges will start to peel up. And so when that happens, take them out, rinse your ear, and then switch to the other side. Usually in our clinic, we can get away with having them in for about a week. For most people, they'll stay in that long or maybe about five days. So it's okay to shower and swim. You can do whatever you want with the ear seeds in. Um, you just have to remember that they're there. I do have a lot of people who end up cleaning their ears in the shower and of course then they forget and they come out. Um, sometimes people do develop an allergy, if you have a latex allergy, um, to the glue that's used. And this is why we recommend only doing one ear at a time. So have them in one ear for about a week, take them out, give that ear a rest, then swap and put them in the other ear. They do make ear seeds that come on clear tape. Um, unfortunately, we found all of the brands that we've tried, the tape just does not stick very well. But when you're looking online, be sure to try out both and see what works best for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and um, enjoy pressing on your seats. Thank you.